Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about the merge sort algorithm. Now, this is the first of the fast algorithms that we're going to be working on. Actually, we're not going to be working on any uh, too much sorting algorithms. It's probably going to be this one and then the quick sort algorithm, and then that's all. Maybe we might move into the radix sort algorithm. I don't know. But this is the algorithm that we're going to be doing today. And how it works is that you have a couple of elements in your array and you want to divide them into two parts. And here we have seven elements in this array. So unfortunately, in one side of the array, we're going to have to have more elements. So as you can see, there are four on your left and three on your right. Once you do that, you're going to carry on doing the same thing. You're going to recursively split the array into two. That's what you're going to do all the time up until you have one element in each array. And then what you want to do is you want to uh, merge the two arrays and create a sorted array. That's basically what you want to do. Merge them and sort them. Merge and sort. So as you can see, we're merging five and three. So we're making sure that it is sorted once it is done merging. So as you can see here, when we merge 5 and 3, we don't end up with 5, 3. We end up with 3, 5. So it's a, a sorted array. Same with 6, 2. We do the same thing. We make sure that the smallest element comes before that the other one. And as you can see with 8 and 1, 4 remains the same. And then next, we merge these two sorted arrays. And we make sure that the smallest elements come first and then the last elements go last. And that's what we do on this side as well. And then eventually we're going to have a sorted array. Now this does require extra amount of memory. So it isn't a perfect sorting algorithm, but it does have a nice time complexity. It has a time complexity of all of n log n. So it is a pretty fast algorithm. So what we're going to do here is we're going to split in, we're going to split this algorithm into two parts. One is where we merge two sorted arrays and the other one is where we recursively split arrays into two. So this part is the one we're going to do last. The first part I'm going to show you is this one where we merge two sorted arrays. So what we're going to do here is we're going to split in, we're going to split this algorithm into two parts. One is where we merge two sorted arrays and the other one is where we recursively split arrays into two. So this part is the one we're going to do last. The first part I'm going to show you is this one where we merge two sorted arrays. 